That's your problem. What did you say, Venus? Nice cool shirt, by the way. As if she just looks so great. Nice cool shoes. You are looking fly, girl. Super duper fly. Hi guys, I'm making a corned beef for dinner, um, but I like to cook the corned beef all day and then like later in the day I'll throw in the vegetables. So I'm going to show you how I make the braising liquid for my corned beef um, and then I'm also going to prep my vegetables for later in the day so I don't have to do that later either. Okay, so first thing um, is I have this, I think this is like a four pound corned beef. It comes with this little pickling packet. Um, I'm going to brown this first on the side that has the fat. So you just want to get a nice heavy pot where you could do like low and slow cooking with a nice tight lid. I'm going to put some fat in the bottom. I'm going to be using olive oil. You could use butter. You could use whatever fat you'd like. I've used bacon grease here also. I just don't have any in my fridge. It's 8 a.m. Yes, but I've been up since 5. So I've been up for three hours already. It's like basically lunchtime for me now. <laughs> So I'm going to just put some fat in the pan and just brown this. It's going to just be a quick live just to basically show you how I make the braising liquid. Um, and then later when I put the veggies in, maybe I'll hop back on that and we'll say. So it's probably like two tablespoons of fat. Um, and you just want to get that really hot. This is a beautiful cut of corned beef. The brand was, I think, Grobble or Gobel. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but it was it was a good brand. It was on sale, that's why I bought it. <laughs> My dog's eating Mariella's high chair because I haven't cleaned it yet. Because I have shit to do today, so I need to get this started. Because um, I'm going to have to shut it off for a little bit while I leave the house. So while I'm getting that fat really hot, I'm going to just cut up my onions and celery because i'm also going to throw some veggies in the pot but that's just going to be like to flavor the liquid um the vegetables that we're going to eat later i'll throw those in like the last hour i don't like to eat the vegetables that have been cooking all day in the broth i feel like it just get very waterlogged and like so mushy mashata you know what i mean I'm also going to be using Guinness. So I made my husband, I'm going to slide you over so I can read your comments. I made my husband, well, I mean, he asked to go out last night and get beer because in Jersey, they don't sell beer till like 12 in the afternoon. And I didn't want to wait that late to stop my corned beef. So Tom went out last night and got me beer. They just had breakfast. They had cheesy quesadilla. They had Cheerios. Watermelon. We have been married for almost six years. We've been together almost 11. Yeah, my dog is trying so hard. Eventually, I'll wipe it all down and, you know, I usually give it a plate of food. So I'm going to put it on the fat side to get nice and brown. And this is like strictly just to get a little color. So for the braising liquid, I'm not going to be sauteing up any of the vegetables. I'm just going to brown this one side. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to throw in all my veg, and then I'm going to just cover it with whatever the liquid is. And I'll show you what that's going to be. So for the braising liquid, I'm going to use a whole onion. I'm going to use a handful of celery stalks. I'm gonna use two carrots. I'm gonna trim them, put them in just like that. Cause again, this is just flavoring the liquid. I'm gonna be using Guinness. I got the extra stout. It's a little early. I would love to do like a little taste test but I've never actually drank Guinness from like a bottle, but it's 8 a.m. So, all right, I got kids. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna be using the brine from a bread and butter pickle jar. It's probably like a, maybe a cup. And I'm also gonna try to get some of those seeds. Um, some fresh oregano. I'm gonna use garlic. Let me get my garlic. Fresh thyme. Not fresh oregano. I have fresh thyme on hand. Um, and this is like an earthy herb that you can cook in like a braising liquid. For parsley and like basil, stuff like that, I usually add in the last minute. Um, and I'm going to add a handful of garlic, of course. So that's all going to go in the liquid. Yeah, I, I honestly assume that. I'm not like a huge beer person. Like if it's like really, really hot out and the beer is like freezing cold and I'm sitting by like the water, I feel like I could probably enjoy a beer. But I'm not going to like be like, oh, I really need to have a beer today, you know? And this is definitely not the type of beer that I would choose. But again, I've never had it from the bottle, so I can't really judge it. Honestly, I could sleep in every weekend if I wanted to. My body just does not allow me to sleep in. Like, sleeping in for me is 6 a.m. And that's like late. 6 a.m. is late. Let me see what's happening here. Because I also want to prep my vegetables for um, later. All right, so let's see what's happening. See that? Like, that's what you want. I really just, I just like to brown the fat pack at least. Yes, I'm cooking this for dinner, so I'm just starting the braising liquid now. So now I'm gonna start throwing in my vegetables. So I put the carrot, celery, garlic, onion, just whole like that. I'm going to pour in the, this is the bread and butter uh, picker brine. I like this because it's a little sweeter. It kind of like balances out like the pickly taste. There's a few pickles left. I'm going to just throw that in. And all that, little, like the, the seeds at the bottom, you want that too. I am from Howard Beach, Queens, but I live in New Jersey now. Um, I'm going to get a bottle open off of you. Thank you. My daughter, my daughter decorated those. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use, we'll see how much. I may have to add more as the day goes. Um, I don't want it like boiling. I want to see like a little bit of the top. I will keep a little of the fat cap out. That's like the, that's like the length that I like it. Um, but I will check it periodically. And if it gets lower than that, I will keep adding. I'm also going to put, this is just fresh time I'm not gonna even salt it right now um, because corned beef tends to be very salty so I have ruined corned beef before by salting this this liquid now because naturally that's that's what I would do um, and I have ruined them before so I'm gonna wait till later to salt it uh, the celery and the and the pickle is just more of like flavoring the liquid. So when I serve the corned beef, I'm not going to put the celery and the pickle on like the plate. This is just the liquid the corned beef is going to be cooking in. Um, and then when I make my vegetables, I'll be cooking my vegetables in this liquid as well. So I'm going to put this little, whatever the hell this shit is, that little pickle packet they give you. I like using the fresh vegetables in the cooking liquid as well. I feel like it just brightens everything up because corn beef is very like blah, you know, it's just boiled meat. You gotta flavor it. Um, so you wanna bring it, you see how it's like kind of bubbly? This is now where I'm gonna cover it. Yeah, I'm not gonna put salt now. You know, maybe when, it, when you're done, if you think it needs a little salt, add it, but I would not add it yet, personally. 
Okay, let's cover it and then I'm gonna prep my veggies and I'll try to answer some of your comments. My husband picked up rye. I'll show you the rye that he picked up. He loves rye bread, my husband. I'm not really a fan. Like, I will have, like, a piece. I'm going to turn it down low now, like, the lowest it goes. Um, and I'll leave it like this for an hour. And if I leave, I may, I may like, pop it in the oven for a little bit before. So when I shut it, it could still have, the, like, you know, the residual heat. But for now, I'm going to just leave it here. So I'm going to put this beer back in the fridge for now because I probably will need it later. I'll show you the rye bread he bought. Yeah. I feel like he probably got the good rye bread. Because my husband loves rye bread. Oh, this one looks like it would be really good, actually. Bread City? I don't know. You get slim pickings in Jersey. Like, unless you go to the pork store, it's slim pickings. This is New York style Russian rye. I'm here for it. I am here for it. Okay, I'm going to prep some of my veggies for later. Less stuff I need to do. Right now my kids are quiet. My husband's hanging out with them and like I don't even hear them. So I try to maximize the amount of shit I get done when they're not bitching. <laughs> uh, so my nails, I, I haven't had like a full set in a while. These are just my real nail wrapped. Um, she puts the LCN on them. And then like the designs plus my pedicure. Like yesterday I paid, I think it was $89.00. And that was my nails and my pedicure, which I mean, from the area that I'm going or where I live, that's, that's normal. So for, uh, veggies for later, I'm going to prep these beautiful carrots. I'm going to, um, I already washed them. I'm not going to take the skin off them. I, I because there is, there is a lot of nutrients in the skin. Um, I'm going to just trim like the edges. So I'll prep that. I also have a head of cabbage I'm going to prep. Yeah, so I also started putting my lives on YouTube. So there's somebody on here who actually recommended me to do that. So I don't remember who it was, but thank you because it was so smart. Um, <clears throat> I made a YouTube which is very, like, I don't want to say out of my comfort zone because I'm always cooking on here, but I've never really been on YouTube, so it's new, okay? But my lives, I've been trying to save them. If you see, I don't have music on because they're, like, blocking me with some of them because I, I jam out when I cook, and I guess they don't like that, you know, copywritten, whatever. So, um, whatever I can, I've been posting on YouTube. I only posted about three, but I did save a bunch, so when I get around to it, I will post more. I'm going to just use this pan for the prepped veggies. I like to cut them like a little chunky, you know, like that. So my safety pin tattoo, I really wish I had like a really intense meeting towards it, but it was honestly just like a drunken night as a teenager. <laughs> I don't really have like a a big meaning behind it. But I don't regret it or anything, you know? It's pretty cool. This work this is um a top from Amazon. It came in like a three pack. I'll I'll link it in my storefront. And these pants are Target, which are the best. They're called workout ribbed pants. And I honestly love them because they don't roll down when you're exercising. Like that's such a that's such a pet peeve of mine. Guys, these colorful carrots from Trader Joe, very good. And these white ones kind of remind me of like a parsnip, which I love in like braised dishes. So I'm pretty excited for that. At 34, that's what I get excited over. Carrots. Okay. So I come down to the seaside area. Um, I don't really know what, what beach we go to. Babe, do we go to the seaside area? No. We go to Long Branch. The seaside area is like not my... Very far. It's a lot further than where I live, but isn't that more of like a party area too? Like I go to where the family beaches are. My nails I get done at Blooming and... Um, 
Staten Island on Page Avenue. It's called Blooming Nail Salon. Ortley Beach. Yes, someone I know actually has a summer home over there. It's beautiful. I'm going to just rinse this cabbage. Summer home. You want to go there? We could go to Grandma's summer home if you want. In Pennsylvania. Oh, no. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I go to Long Branch. Um, and honestly, the beaches are, are, are beautiful. And it's like never as packed, you know? Yeah, I'm not up to time with the TikTok trends, guys. As you can see, I don't do much of like the trends. I'm just like cooking and talking shit most of the time. <laughs> Showing you my freaking chaotic life. So cabbages are kind of weird to cut. I kind of just gonna slice off the core and I, I like to put them in like wedges. I honestly keep the core on for this because you're gonna be cooking it for so long. Um, and I don't, I don't mind the texture of the core. I actually like it once it's been cooking. I am slow braising the corned beef right now. I have it on top of the stove. I may put it in the oven at, at some point. I'm not sure yet. Depends on if I'm going to be home um, because I do have something to do today. I like to cut them chunky like this just so they don't get so soggy so quick, you know. And then I'm also going to put potatoes. I'll slice up the potatoes, but I do have to wash those. My mother has a summer home in, did you guys ever hear of Eagle Lake? It's like a community in, I think it's Goldsboro, PA. Um, and I've actually been going there since I was like a kid. Like my mother, we used to spend the summers there. My mother, before everything happened with my father, my mother was a stay-at-home parent and we would spend the summers there and he would like stay, stay in New York and like work or whatever. But I was on like a swim team. I went to camp. Like I spent a lot of my childhood there. And um, we basically grew up there. It was, it was a lot of fun. I would love for my kids to do that now. But in the summer, I feel like Serafina always has like something to do here. Birthday parties, activities, camp, something. But I, I would love to go spend a little more time there this year. But you could also like rent trailers in the community. So you could like hang out, you know, go up there. Because when I used to go there when I was little, it was way less people. Now my family is like triple the size and we can't all fit in the one house. And anyone who has kids knows like if you're going somewhere and you're not comfortable, I'm not going to enjoy myself. That's me personally. I'm going to slice up onions. I also like to keep the onions kind of big too. You ever like cook an onion whole and then you squeeze it and the inside of the onion pops out? I love that part of the onion. <laughs> I bought these cute little small onions for it, babe. What? They're like little cute small onions. I love that. Me too. They're not like the Chipino ones, but look. They're mine. Yeah. Story of my fa my father. There's not really much of a story. He's just like not a great person. <laughs> my mother and him got divorced. They, I, I don't even know when they got divorced. It was like such a hard time for them to get divorced. But um, he just like wasn't a great father. I, I don't even I like don't even really want to give him the airtime, honestly. My daughter's names are not family names. Um, but I do really love them. So these are organic onions from Trader Joe. Honestly, they didn't have the regular ones, that's why I bought these, but look how tiny they are. I'm gonna just leave these whole like this. What's my last name? I don't think I need to share that. We can be friends in real life, guys. We're, we're, we're basically like in real life right now. I'm, I, I am speaking to you, although I have no idea what any of you look like or where you live. Here we are. Trader Joe's staples. Um, I honestly love their produce and fruit all the time, so that's definitely part of the staple. 
Um, they have great snacks. I like to buy, um, they have like a freeze dried broccoli in like the snack aisle. I even buy that for Mariella. Really good. Serafina loved it too. Um, they have like cool sauces and vinegars and like dipping sauces. If you want to make like a quick ravioli, like a different type of ravioli, they always have different fillings on their raviolis, which I love. They just have cool, like, you know, different than you're going to find at the regular grocery store. Mom? Yes, baby girl. How's your eye feeling? What? How's your eye feeling? Oh, she's asking how my eye is feeling because Mariella punched me in the face yesterday. Totally unintentional. But you know how, like, when they're babies, they take their, their whatever they have in their hand and they freaking swing it and knock it all over the place? Yeah, she just whacked me in the face yesterday. And my Serafina, she got me cold water to put on it. She went and got me a pillow so I could put my leg on the pillow. Right? Mm -hmm. She's the best. Yeah. Right now, she's dressed up as, what are you doing? Are you going swimming? Yeah. She's got her water shoes on, so... I am prepping a corned beef. I have corned beef braising right now. I'll show you what it looks like. So I just made like a really, yes, I made a really flavorful cooking liquid. Um, and now I'm just chopping up vegetables to add in later. Cause I don't like to use the braised vegetables. My daughter always has a balloon. There's always a balloon in my house. Literally. I have to buy them on Amazon. So I, I love, I don't know why I love keeping them whole like this and they just cook perfectly. Everyone gets their own little onion. I'm coming. Um, Trader Joe, they have cool hummuses and dips, yes, but I honestly don't buy a lot of that stuff because I feel like that stuff really does run expensive. Like, that's when your grocery bill starts to get out of control is when you stop buying all that extra stuff. I mean, honestly, if I'm having company over or even in the summer, I like to buy more of that because I like to do, like, snacking by the pool. Um, but that's also how I try to keep my grocery bill lower. I don't buy a lot of, like, those pre-made dips and stuff i i kind of will just make it myself like i'm gonna actually show you something i have in my pantry right now it's roasted eggplant in a jaw and i always keep that in my pantry because you can make like a really quick dip out of that you can even add it to meatballs to like beef up your meatballs i'm gonna show you it So this is just the brand that I happen to have right now. Um, but it's basically just roasted eggplant in a jaw. And you can make like baba ganoush. You can make like a... All you need to make a delicious dip with this is this, tahini, um, maybe like a little feta cheese. Like shit like this you can build off of. And, you know, make delicious dips. And the amount of money you're going to spend on all that prepackaged stuff, they only give you very little. And they also, like, don't last long in your fridge. I'm also someone who gets very sick of things easily. So if I, like, love it one day, I may not love it tomorrow. You know what I mean? Thanks for following me. I am going to, what company did you pull? My husband does my pool. My husband takes care of the pool. When I bought the house, the pool was already here, but my husband's my pool guy. My husband's the pool guy. My husband's the gardener. My husband's the handsy man. My husband's everybody. The open cabinets. I can't help it, guys. Okay, I just can't help it. I 
I'm just washing my potatoes, so just give me one second. See if I could try to get the kids to see the Easter Bunny today. I don't even know if they're like still in the malls anymore. Um, and I had something I had to do outside of the house. I love Old Navy workout clothes. Basically, all my workout clothes are Target, Old Navy, and that's really it. Or TJ Maxx, they have this brand. I don't know the name of it offhand. I have to look at the thing. Um, but I live in the East Brunswick area. Yeah. yeah, my husband's pretty handy, honestly. But you know, when I first got with him, I feel like he wasn't as handy. But owning a home kind of like forces you to learn things. I mean, if you don't have the money to call somebody for every little thing that goes wrong, you learn how to teach yourself. You know? Like, he does a really good job taking care of the pool. But when we first moved here, you know, it, it, it was like a learning experience. It's so expensive to have to call somebody for every little thing. Owning a home, you're, it's like, you're, you're basically just house rich. Because all your money goes back into your house. Any good ideas for ground beef? You could do meatballs. You could do meatloaf. You could do smash burgers with onions. You can make empanadas, you could do chili. What else could you do? I make a bacon cheeseburger meatloaf that's really good. I also make these French onion meatballs. Chili. Chili, my husband loves my chili. He loves my chili, my husband. Um, what else? And I honestly am not even a huge ground beef person, but I still make it because it's, it's easy and it like feeds everybody. Cheeseburger pie. There you go. Shepherd's pie. Always some kind of pie with ground beef. There's my kids laughing. The, the lazy arancini is cool. You could make it in like the bunt pan. Is that what you're talking about? I've, I've seen that before. I think I saw that on that girl, Kathy Quadrado. Do you guys follow her? Her recipes are sick too. She does just like regular home style cooking also. Thanks for following me guys. You guys are up nice and early with me today, huh? Maybe I should do some morning lives more often because Mariella is usually taking a little nap at this time, like even when Serafina is in school and I'm usually by myself doing the same thing, but alone. So maybe I'll hop on live during the week more often. Well, you guys, it's a Saturday. I'm sure half of you are probably working on a Monday. I'm using the tool wrong. Who says? Is there a rule book to using the tool that I don't know about? I mean, how I'm using it is working just fine for me. I've been using it like this for 34 years. I think I'm, I think I'm okay. Thank you. My family's pool chemical 7K to open last year. So I don't know how big your your family's pool is. I mean, mine is pretty big, and I'm sure over the course of the summer, but I don't think 7,000. But honestly, pool supplies are very expensive in general. And I told my husband, Gothavit, this pool, like, Gothavit, something ever happens to it, I would definitely just get one half the size. Because I don't need one this big. It was here when we bought it, you know? So... My favorite music artist. Um, I love like old school hip hop. I love Biggie and Nas, Tribe Called Quest. Um, old school shit. That's what I grew up on. Freestyle, Jonathan Peters, Luz Davina, house music. Like very all over the place. Fleetwood Mac, Sublime, Blink-182. <laughs> My music choices are very bipolar. So these I'm gonna leave kind of chunky too. I'm gonna just, I think I'm just gonna cut them in half. And then like also in half. 
So I'm gonna leave them like this. Um, I didn't have a wedding. Me and my husband got married at City Hall and we bought a home. So the money that would have been spent on a wedding, um, we, we bought our house. I have corned beef braising. I'll show you what it looks like. So I have corned beef braising with onion, carrots, beer, herbs. Um, I put some pickle brine in there. And now I'm just prepping up my vegetables for later. Uh, so I don't have to do it after. So here I have prepped carrots. I have some like cute onions. I'm going to just cook them whole. Chunks of cabbage. These are my potatoes. And all of this is going to get cooked in that liquid as well. That's why I said to make sure you had some extra beer. Um, because you're probably going to be adding. Do I regret not having a traditional wedding? No, I don't because now I'm 34 years old. I have two kids and they have a home to live in. We're not living in an apartment. I have a backyard. I have shit that I probably wouldn't have had if I spent that money on a wedding. Um, also, we're still young. I could always have a wedding, you know? That is a corned beef. It's a, it was a corned beef brisket, I believe. I love rotisserie chickens, girl. Yeah, I've been cooking this. I don't know, how long have I been on live, guys? Because I, I started this with you guys, but I've been up since five, so I'm still in my workout clothes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, eventually I would love to do like a nice vow renewal, but let me tell you, even if I got married, even if I had a huge wedding when me and my husband got married, Half the people that were at that wedding wouldn't have even been at a wedding now if I had it. So I kind of feel like you're so young. Like, I'm not spending all that money for everyone else to enjoy themselves. I'm, I'm, I just, that like wasn't my vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. My cabinets are always open. You must be new here. Yeah, we said for like our 10 year wedding anniversary, we'll do like a nice vow renewal. And to me, I feel like that's even more special because now I also have my kids that could be a part of it and they'll be in those pictures and they, you know, they'll remember those memories also. Um, just, I feel like that whole big, big wedding thing just isn't for everybody. Like if you're a woman who had a huge wedding and you like dreamed of having that wedding, good for you, girl. Like you should have what you want. You should have what you're dreaming for. You know what I mean? I wasn't one of those girls. I wanted a house. I wanted to plant tomatoes. You know, I wanted to grow zucchini. <laughs> I'm not the same. I wanted a yacht. Um, what am I making? Did you feel it, right? Your hair? I just wasn't that type of girl, you know? Yeah, so that's really sad, too. Is that a cool trip? How much do I spend on groceries? I probably spend, like, a, realistically, like, $130, $140 a week in groceries. But the thing is, it's hard to even judge that because when I'm going to buy groceries, like I'm also buying paper towels, I'm also buying diapers, I'm buying wipes. So all those things also add up onto my grocery bill. My leggings are from Target. They're, um, they're called Workout Ribs Leggings. Of course, I think that's so cool. The rug is just, oh, that's a rug from uh, Walmart. It's like a nice size too, I have it. It goes like the whole cabinet. I have a matching one that goes here too, but it's dirty right now. No, $130, and you guys see what I buy. Like I share my grocery hauls. I very rarely buy junk, and if I do, it's mostly for my kids. I mean, if you're spending 300 a week, it depends on what, what you guys eat, you know what I mean? I do a lot of cooking. I don't know what your life looks like on the daily. Like, you may be a working parent who doesn't have the time to do as much cooking as I do. You know what I mean? Whatever comes to me is gonna be meant for me, so whatever happens, happens. Guys, my brows, 
I love them nice, thick, and hairy. Like, I'm never going to get them thin, but I don't have anyone to do my eyebrows right now. So I am like, what am I doing? Please. I'm making corned beef, guys. I have it braising. And honestly, it kind of like already smells delicious, but it's raw, so. <laughs> Thanks for following me. Um, I also have veggies that I prepped. I'll show you the veggies. So I have potatoes, cabbage, carrots, some onions. Um, and these I'm going to be cooking in that braising liquid later on. So my eyebrows, I usually go like once a month to the girl, but she's actually moving out of state. I love her to death, but she's, you know, leaving. And I usually just get them like fixed, you know, shaped up a little and they henna tint them. But I don't know what to do now. I don't know. The corned beef, I'm going to literally cook this corned beef all day. Like, it's, I had it on since probably like 8.30. I'm going to shut it off if I need to leave the house, but that's going to basically cook all day. The, bra the heat of the braise is very low. You want to bring it up to like a nice simmer, cover it with a really tight-fitting lid, and put your heat on low, the lowest it goes. If you are uncomfortable with doing it on the stove, you can put it in the oven for like 220, but put your oven on like 220, and just cook it all day in the oven as well. I do have a YouTube channel. I have it posted in my link tree that's in my bio, and I've been posting my lives um, from here on the YouTube, but I am going to start filming videos just for YouTube. I mean, TikTok will probably be seeing clips of it because I'll use it for content as well, but I will be doing more in-depth recipes on YouTube just because I, ha I can, like, as far as the timing, I can do longer videos. I could show you, like, more tips than I could on, on TikTok. Like, the thing about going live on TikTok, uh, like, I love talking to you guys, but it's hard for me to document that, you know, content. Like, I'm sharing it with you, but if someone's like, oh, I missed the live, like, I didn't get that tip or something, you know? And it's hard for me to answer every single person. So I'm trying to, like, accommodate where if you hop over to YouTube, you can also catch my live. You know? I do not want any more kids. My husband got a vasectomy. <laughs> I have a video of my nails. You could just screenshot that. I mean, you could screenshot this if you want, but I did post a video of it. How do I make time for myself? I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. Because even if my husband gives me the time, I mentally am not enjoying it because I hear my kids. You know, like the only time I want time is if I'm alone in my house by myself. I appreciate, you know, like, oh, go inside for an hour. You know, like I, I really appreciate that. But me personally, like, the, the 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 parent in me like hears my kids and i'm like i should be there instead of here you know what i mean it's not my husband thing it's 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 me he's like i don't care they're good like he has way more patience than i do that's why we work so well i'm not gonna do my own eyebrows girl i took so long to get these as full as they are i won't even try so i'm gonna just be on the hunt for someone That's just why I wake up so early so I can just enjoy that time like guilt free personally. I have, I do not have a recipe for tiramisu, but I can make it one time. I don't really do, like, it's hard for me to have recipes because I cook like a little of this, a little of that. But tiramisu is like, you need to really do the measurements probably. I used to thread my eyebrows too, but then the girl that I found here, she did wax and she, she did my eyebrows beautiful. Um, I, oh, the shops at Old Bridge, I get my hair done there. That's not far from me. I do not have PCOS. Thank you. I learned how to cook from like my mother, my grandmother. Um, and I do, I've been watching like America's Test Kitchen literally since I had a TV. We didn't have cable growing up. Um, and America's Test Kitchen was always on channel 13, which was a free channel. I don't know if they still do that. Like, I don't know if they still do free, free channels. Um, but that was like the only thing I could ever watch. And I just grew to love it. Marielle is being put down for a nap. My husband's with them and Afina's playing with her balloons. 
And so I like the Cheesecake Factory. So it's not like a gourmet meal, but it's not a terrible place to bring my kids to because it's loud and they can, you know, enjoy themselves. Nutella sea salt fudge. That sounds delicious. I grew up in Howard Beach, Queens. Not far from White Stone. I used to go to Cherry Valley very often. Australian accent? I, I can't do an Australian accent. Do I have an Australian accent? That's interesting. A nap at 8.45? Yeah, right. I got a lot of stuff today to do. Favorite, favorite bagel spot is probably... Um, Old Country Bagels, that's on Cross Bay Bagel, that's on Cross Bay and Howard Beach, Queens. Favorite childhood food is um, probably like chicken cutlets. Like I knew when my mother was making chicken cutlets, she was always, she was also going to make like banging ass sides. It was always like the, the, the best dana. And she used to make roasted chicken really good too. I'm drinking right now iced coffee that my husband made me last night, and I never got a chance to drink it. But this Yeti cup, like, literally, listen. I did not re-ice this. This is still from yesterday, and it is the most delicious thing. I'm you, you know what? No, I don't even need it, babe. This is delicious. Um, the La Villa in Mill Basin, no, but I did grow up on the La Villa in Lindenwood. La Villa first and first. My husband knows about that one, but I know about the one in Lindawood. I don't know which one is, like, the, the new one. Biggie or Tupac. I feel like there's a time and place for, for either of them. Biggie. Obviously, I'll pick Biggie because I'm from Queens, but... My mom did not remarry, no. Did I want to be a stay-at-home parent? So, I am, a, I am someone who enjoys working. Um... Being a stay-at-home parent was not in my job description up until eight months ago. But here we are. And, I mean, I'm honestly making the best of it. I'm trying to just provide great days for my kids to remember. Like, this is... I feel like God is going to give you what is meant for you. And here we are. I obviously enjoy being home with my kids. But being from someone who is used to going, you know, going to work every day, it's a very big adjustment. Um, and not even so much about like what I did. I, I, I loved it so much. It was more about just having like your own life, you know, your own like routine. My husband is 36 and I am 34. Yes, you finally made it to a live at 840 in the morning, which is so random for me because I'm never on, on live at this time. But I didn't know it was like popping like this. I, I should be going live during the day more often. This is when I have the time because this is when my when Mariella wants to actually take a nap. I feel like after you have kids, you're not the same person you were before you had kids. So you're always going to be finding out who you are after kids anyway. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like after Mariella, I'm different than I was after having Serafina. And even when they go through, like, their little stages and stuff, I feel like you change into a different person then also, you know? You grow to it, like, adapt. How did I adjust to being a stay-at-home mom? Um, definitely not skipping on giving yourself that me time because that's very important. Um, I just made a new routine for myself. You know, like your routine didn't look the way it did when you weren't a stay-at-home parent. I can tell you right now, though, going to work. I mean, I worked in a dental office. I did dental billing. Um, and going to work was way easier than being home. I'll tell you that. Like going to work was a vacation compared to this. Laying in bed watching you live. I wish I could lay in bed and watch you live. <laughs> change is good. Exactly. Like some people see change sometimes as like a bad thing. Um, but like you, you should be changing. Why are you not changing your whole life? You know what I mean? You should always be evolving. My husband works for corporate T-Mobile. He is an account executive. I'm sure a lot of people say that about working. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I feel like everyone's life looks different, you know, so what my opinion is may not be someone else's and that's okay. That's why the world goes round. <laughs> Did you put the balsamic on the egg salad? It's funny because I'm actually the younger sister. My sister's coming here for Easter. Maybe you'll meet her. My husband is the best. 
And honestly, we like every marriage has their shit. We're, we obviously, because people are like, oh, you guys are so happy and I need to find someone like that. And yes, you do. You definitely do. You need to find someone who treats you like the person you should be treated like, who knows your worth. But also you need to present yourself in a way where you know that you're worth that. I feel like people aren't gonna do the right thing or want to even try to take care of you the way you want it if you're not putting that off like if you're coming off like you're gonna do whatever they want and you're not gonna be your own person that's an issue i was like that from the jump i think it's because when i was younger i didn't have like a ton of boyfriends like i was always just like here and there you know like i didn't want a serious relationship and i think that's why later in life i like knew exactly what i did want um, Easter, I am cooking, yes, I am cooking, um, I'm gonna make a boneless leg of lamb, and I'm gonna stuff it and, like, roll it. I'm making a brine turkey, I'm gonna do an artichoke casserole, I don't know what else. I still need to make my menu, but I'll definitely share it once I know. Good morning, everybody! Yeah, I've been online for, like, an hour, but I am gonna hop off soon, because it's 9 a.m., now we need to start getting the crew ready because I'm going to try to get them to see the Easter money today. Hangover tips, drink some electrolytes and just chug up on water. Whatever your body weight is, drink that half of your body weight in ounces of water and you'll feel amazing. I met my husband on Plenty of Fish. Thank you for following me. Um, I don't really know what a traditional man means because I feel like in 2023 what is even tradition to people i am someone who takes care of my man because he takes care of me like i do it because i want to not because i feel like i need to thanks for following me guys so artichoke casserole is it's i'm gonna show you how i make it uh my youtube channel the link is in my link tree that's in my bio but artichoke casserole is basically whatever you're stumping, whatever you're stuffing your artichokes with, but you buy just the artichoke hearts, the frozen ones, like not the ones in the jar that are, that are marinated. Trader Joe sells frozen artichoke hearts. Um, and you stuff it, you like use that in the stuffing. It's hard to explain. I have to show you, but it's delicious. You like layer the stuffing with the artichoke hearts. And it's good if you're having like a crowd of people, like I'm having a lot of people here at Easter and you're not going to catch me dead trimming thousands of artichokes and stuff in them. Also, they're like two for three dollars and I would probably need like 15 of them. And that is not something I'm spending. It's ridiculous. So the artichoke casserole, you get the delicious flavors of the stuffed artichoke, like without the mess of your fingers getting disgusting while eating it. And it's literally the same way you stuff your artichokes. It's just with the hearts. Now, don't get me wrong. I prefer a real artichoke stuff, you know, but if you're hosting a holiday, you're also trying to find little things that are going to make it a little easier on you, you know? I'll definitely share that. Next time I go to Trader Joe, I have to pick them up anyway. Um, and it is the easiest thing, guys. Wait till you see that. You'll never make them the other way again. And like I said, I love a fresh artichoke. Like if it's just for me, my husband and my kids, whatever, I'll make like two or three of them. But if I'm hosting a ton of people, artichoke casserole. There's not a video of that on YouTube yet, but I will be putting that. I just started my YouTube yesterday, guys. Okay? So I've been just, like, putting my, my lives on there for now. Um, but I will be putting more things up there for sure. I'm going to try to start brainstorming as far as what I'm going to be filming. Because now that I have the YouTube, i got to keep up with both. Oh, my God. Do you like this? Do I look like I live in the South? I am definitely not having any more kids. Yes, I can definitely give you substitutes. Just, like, let me know if there's something that you can't have. Content creation full-time? I feel like that's kind of the goal at this point. So my husband asked me to stay home, but did you decide it? It was more of, like, a joint decision. My husband was the breadwinner. Like, I brought in money that we paid bills with, but that also was, like, my play money. Um, and it wasn't an option for my husband to stay home. I don't know what Pet the Pepper app is. Someone also told me the Clapper app. I'm like, what the frick is a Clapper? I'm too old for this shit. I just learned, I just learned TikTok. Alternative for sugar. 
Um, are you trying to do like no sugar? Because if so, then there's just a lot of things that you can't have. And I wouldn't really recommend like the sugar-free sugars because those are not great for you either. I don't know what clapper is, but someone said a lot of content creators are going to clapper, but I mean, growing up, a clapper was, was considered something very different. So I don't know what a clapper is. Clap. I'm gonna come sit with you guys. I have to put you closer because I'm trying to read these comments. My agenda is I'm taking my kids to go see the Easter Bunny today. I'm gonna try to at least. I don't even know if like the malls around me are doing it. Um, but I do have to go to the mall for something anyway. The clap, exactly. Like, I don't know what the hell a clapper is. So these chairs are bar stools that I bought from Wayfair. And they're so high because my little bar over here is pretty high. People, like, when I film videos on this bar, people, like, don't understand where I'm filming. They're like, is your countertop just very high? Like, have you guys never seen a high bar stool? Um, but I have refaced these, like, numerous times. I bought this fabric from Hobby Lobby and my husband just refaces the seats because my kids destroy them. Substitute for eggs and meatballs, I would use, do, um, do you have beef gelatin? That's kind of odd. Um, do I have any? So show you what it looks like. I would use gelatin if you can't use eggs. Even Not even the beef one, if you have just like the plain gelatin. Um, you could also use xanthan gum if you have that. It's really more of just you need something to, to, to bind. Sour cream, Greek yogurt. Or crema, Mexican crema, which is a little looser than sour cream. Yeah, Freehold Mall, but who wants to, like, go there on the East Brunswick Mall on Route 18? Does that have the Easter Bunny? Who wants to go to the Freehold Mall on a Saturday? Not me. Definitely not me. Oh, my God. Is today Sunday? On a Sunday. I've been saying Saturday for the past two hours. No one's corrected me. Menlo too. I don't want to go there. Yeah, ground flax you could use also. Honestly, I don't really tend to have sweet cravings. I don't really have a huge sweet tooth. Um, but if I do crave sweets, it's more of like a custardy thing. Like I want like a flan or like a, a creme brulee or like an ice cream. Like something creamy if I was to crave sweets. But I prefer to have like bread and butter at this point. But... I'm going to have to hop off now because my husband probably wants to kill himself. <laughs> um, I will come back definitely like later when I add the vegetables in, I'll definitely hop back on. So usually I'll make a story before, but we'll see. All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging. It was fun in the morning. We should do this more often. I'll see you later.